Rutgers University holding a series of events this weekend to honor Tyler Clementi, the freshman who killed himself after video of his sexual encounter with another man was put on the internet. His death is one of several recent suicides that are being blamed on anti-gay bullying. Good evening, everyone. The parents of Jamie Rotemeyer believe years of bullying finally pushed their son too far. The freshman at Williamsville North High School committed suicide yesterday. He was just 14 years old. Billy Lucas of Greensburg, Indiana, was just 15 years old when bullying pushed him over the edge. My teammates Karen Hensel has been following the story since it broke. Jamie Rotemeyer made no secret of his struggles with bullies, even posting a video online encouraging other victims of bullies to stay strong. So that's all you have to do. Just love yourself and be set. And I promise you'll get better. Clemente is the young violinist who took his own life after learning that his roommate and another student secretly used a webcam to stream live video of Clemente in a sexual encounter with another man. Darun Ravi and Molly Way are charged with invasion of privacy. Sticks and stones may break my bones. Most of the time, he took the abuse silently. But words can never hurt me. Not true for Billy Lucas. The week before that he died, he was being treated so badly in school. And again, he didn't give me specific details. He just told me that, Mom, I was going to cry. And I couldn't stay there in that class and cry in front of everyone. He said, I had to leave. In July, Jamie lost his great-grandmother and his friend, Alex Rice, who was struck by a car. Hours before Jamie took his own life, he wrote that he wanted to see them both, but he only wrote it online. I have so much support from people I don't even know online. I know that sounds creepy, but they're so nice and caring, and they don't ever want you to die. The problem is not limited to Clemente. He's one of five gay teens believed to have committed suicide in the last four weeks. Some victims of anti-gay bullying, like 13-year-old Seth Walsh, who hanged himself last month. Those deaths are now receiving new attention as the passing of Tyler Clemente puts new focus on the alienation that gay teenagers say they often feel.